Cubans! Hello, it's Melissa, the M of the M of the Smoking Hairstyles. I hope you're well. Thank you for watching this posting. Um, I wanted to talk to you about my most recent experience. So, as I go through the experiences, I'm just going to share. I might not know where this uh, video is going to go, what it's going to end up leading to, but I just sometimes have a need to just share. Um, and so I'll just switch it on and I'll ramble on and you probably will get the point at the end of it. So just stick with it. Let me tell you a story. So this is all about body, mind, living um, authentically, holistically living, self-healing, self-development and sharing. Um, a few nights ago, I um, a couple of nights ago, I had uh, in the evening, I had a little bit of pain. It was pain in my wrists. And it was just nothing. I didn't pay much attention to it. But I noticed it was getting slightly worse. If you follow me on Facebook, you'd have seen that I, I, I wrote about it um, yesterday. Um, and um, it became so bad, the pain, that I couldn't even text. And I'm always on my phone. You'll see I'm always posting pictures. I'm always on my phone. I couldn't even text. So I thought, you know what? Let me just go to bed. So that's what I did. About half past 2 a.m. in the morning, I woke up to excruciating pain. I've never experienced pain like this ever. It was connected to initially this part of my hand and it felt like the nerve was being affected. I just don't, I don't, I couldn't understand what it was because it never happened before. And what struck me was, Normally, when you, you're in pain and you touch that area, that's when you feel the pain. But in this instant, um, I felt the pain was con continual, um, uh, a, a pulsating, throbbing, increasingly getting worse pain. I had nowhere to rest my hand, which was comfortable. Um, I couldn't, I literally kept in and out of sleep in absolute agony. Um, and of course, I started visualizing my clients. I mean, I was looking forward to doing um, Kizzy's locks and another client's hair. And I would just visualize me looking at them and not being able to do their hair. I just visualize all the clients that um, whose hair we take care of, new ones who, you know, I've been interacting with. And I just thought, my God, like all of a sudden I started panicking. What, what, what's going to happen? Um, so I basically decided the pain got worse and worse through the night. And in the morning, I was like, I have to go to um, emergency. I have to go to a &E. So that's what I did. I went to a &E. Um And he, um, the pain was awful. I literally had to hold my hand. Um, but I didn't understand because there was no swelling. So I was like holding my hand. If I put it down, I was in pain. If I had it up, I was... I just couldn't escape the pain and I was literally, I started literally like basically curling into the pain. The doctor saw me and he gave, made me do certain things and I did it very well obviously with my left hand but not with my right hand. And obviously it concerned me because it was my right hand, you know. Um, and um, But I, I managed to do certain things and I think he'd established I hadn't broken anything. And then he asked me what I did for a living and I said, oh, I do hair and he was like, well, if that's what it is and you've got um, RBS, is that what that is? R R R RBS, which is, um, repetitive strain injury. I've heard about it before and people have said, you, you do care, you must be careful, it shouldn't happen to you. So, um, he said, I have repetitive strain injury. He didn't scan, he didn't do anything other than he just made me do that. Then he found out what I did for a living and then he said, you've got repetitive strain injury. You contact your doctor. And he gave me prescription. Um, I was in agony. Um, I got, um, I, I connect, contacted the doctor. The doctor was like, oh, it's just happened once. Oh, well, um, it's fine. The pharmacist, nobody seemed concerned. They just gave me this painkiller and, um, and off I went. I was in agony. So I thought, I need to understand repetitive strain injury. This is happening for a reason. I was like, positive. This is, um, God is trying to, the universe is trying to show me something. Um, and it's something that I need to share. So I was like, okay, let me just, while I was in pain, I was like, let me try and research it. So I went online and I went, first of all, to the NHS um, website, which is like our national healthcare service website. 
and I looked up RBS and I started thinking of acupuncture, obviously to, oh, by then my hands started swelling now, um, which hadn't happened before. Um, and I, I was like, okay, let me find out what I can do. I mean, he told me I'd internal, the doctor said I'd internal, inter, inflammation. Yeah. My nerves were inflamed, he said. Um, and that's why he gave me the, um, the drugs so that, uh, it, the inflammation can come down and then a gel. Um, so basically I, I researched and what I found was RBS is something that it, repetitive strain injury happens to somebody who works with their hands and does something re repeatedly. So like if you knit, if you're on the computer, um, if you are doing hair, um, so like I was doomed, but what it said was, um, some people get it, some people don't. They don't know why. It, sometimes it happens one off. Sometimes it happens continually. It was so vague, the information. So I was like, okay. So basically, I don't understand why it's happening to me because as far as I'm concerned, I don't, like, I don't work that, I don't think I work that hard. I, I, I really don't. I think I pace myself and I, you know, I do my exercises and I, I, I look after myself. I feel I do. I exercise every time, every day, most of the days. And so I, I, I just didn't get it. So I thought, right, let me find a solution because I didn't know the cause. Let me find a solution. So I went online and I searched acupuncture because I thought, let me just get a treatment, acupuncture, reduce inflammation, I'll be fine. But something came up um, and then it led to something else. And then I started watching these videos all about the mind-body prescription, something like that. I really didn't understand what I was watching, but I was very, very interested. So I will try and put the link of what I watched because that led me to, basically this happened to me yesterday. Yeah, this happened to me yesterday. And as you can see, I'm fine. Um, so I started watching it and basically um, I watched through the whole day, I watched videos on um, like people who are in chronic pain um, and how they, they basically healed. And what I found out was this, that, um, People have done many treatments, like the acupuncture I was going to try, massage, physiotherapy, all kinds of treatments. And eventually, um, they've come across a Dr. Sarno, who I just discovered yesterday, so I had to share this with you. I'm going to go on this journey of finding out about him, and um, because I'm just fascinated by what he does, and then I'll, I'll, I will share. Um, so basically... He, um, he was, um, a doctor specializing in physiotherapy and he found that all the treatments he did didn't make much of a difference. Um, and then one day, um, I think they did a test. That was it. They did a test on people who were healthy, fine. Um, and they checked their internals, their bones and stuff. And they had certain abnormalities. And then there were people who had the same abnormalities who basically were having problems. But what happens is when you're having pain problems um, and the specialist sees you, they look for the reason why. And if you've got an abnormal disc or spine or bones or whatever, or inflammation, so the, they basically diagnose you. And then you're like, ah, that's why I'm ill, because of that physical change. But actually, the fact is, is that for a lot of people, nothing's wrong with them. Nothing is wrong with them apart from the fact that they have something that they need to deal with, follow me, follow me, they need to deal with that they're not dealing with. So basically, all of us have a childlike mind within us. And this childlike mind needs to deal with something. It could be anything. I mean, uh, it could be from insecurity, I don't know, to fear, to abuse. It could be anything. But your mind cannot deal with that emotion at that moment. I'll tell you what I think mine is. Your mind can't deal with that at the moment. So basically, that moment, it couldn't, it can't deal with it. It does something to your internal organs, the, 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 the area that um, can cause disruption to the blood flow. Your mind, if you, if you basically, if you can't deal with something, it creates something to distract, it creates a situation in your body for you to be distracted. And for me, it was my wrist, it was my hand. Because once I realized my hand was hurting and it kept getting worse, I didn't deal with whatever issue I was thinking about, I didn't deal with that. 
my focus was all about getting my wrist right. And all I needed to do was not focus on that pain and actually work out what the issue was and deal with the issue. Um, and I would be fine. And that's what happened. I literally realized that I was, be, I was get, I love what I do. I absolutely love what I do. And my worst nightmare would be not being able to have this and do this. So, um, at some point I've internalized this fear. And um, as a result, it's shown, it has shown up in this inflammation, which my mind has created. And once I was able to talk to my child self and say, everything's going to be fine. And also ignoring that pain, because I took the inf anti-inflammatory medication just yesterday, just for the day, three times a day I took it. And then um, I haven't taken it for the rest of the day and the pain has gone. So the pain started fading away in the evening because I had been watching all these videos about the fact that our mind plays tricks on us and tries to distract us from the true essence of what we're worrying about. And if we deal with what we're worried about, the pain goes. Now, this is, this is in relation to my personal story. Somebody might be having continual pain and it might be for a completely different reason. So you obviously have to make sure that you check that there's no other medical, um, you know, issues. But generally, um, what seems to happen with a lot of people, they have this agonizing pain that happens over years. At least with me, it was just one, one, one day. Um, and they, they don't cope with, they basically don't realize they are the ones creating this pain. So I basically, I'm going to put the link, but I, I was just so fascinated that I ordered, um, the book. So this is the book. I'm going to start reading it and I'll share with you. So I'll be able to break it down a bit more, but it's called The Mind Body Prescription by Dr. John Sarno. I got it from um, Amazon and it was about eight pounds. Um, the other thing is that I, I just came back from a book signing. Look what I got, the journey of my life. This is by, um, she's, she calls herself your sister, but I just know her as Maureen. <laughs> we look after Maureen's hair. So if you follow us on Facebook, you'll see, yeah, it's called Maureen's Locks and you'll see the journey. Maureen is somebody who I totally adore and love. And Maureen is a, um, has always been a beautiful person, but the growth that Maureen has been experiencing, I am just so honored to be, uh, to know her, to be responsible, to get an eye to be responsible for looking after her looks. Um, there's been a lot of, um, challenges and pain in, in Maureen's life. And, um, a lot of the time it can show up in so many different ways. Um, and as Maureen has, he has, has, is going through this process of healing herself, um, through all her experiences. And I've yet to read this book. I just went for the, um, the book signing. Um, so I'll share that with you as well. Um, but, um, she did, um, she read a, a couple of, um, extracts from her book and I, I need to read it. I need to read it because it talks about abuse sexual abuse, um, physical abuse, and we all know that it happens in every community and, you know, it's like a taboo and it shouldn't be. Um, and um, when I met Maureen, I remember she was always in a lot of pain, physical pain. So I wonder whether there is a link there with your, you know, now she's now she's writing her story and, and sharing her story. I see the growth. I see how much she's healed. I see physically how different she looks. Um, and I wonder whether... Um, because she's now healing and dealing with this issue, whether she's feeling less pain. Um, it'll be interesting to see whether there's, there's a link there because she used to be in a lot of pain and, and uh, physically sitting doing her hair. Um, and now I see her, she looks so well, so great. So that's the message. Your mind is a powerful thing. Whatever issue you have to deal with, it's best to brace yourself and deal with the issue. Because from dealing with that issue, you grow. I believe that the experience of my wrist was about, that was the universe testing me. I was being tested. How authentic are you? Um, and I, I, I think once I got that and I got that, I was internalizing the worry about what, he, what if, what if, you know, I wouldn't want anything to happen to my hands. Once I dealt with that, 
um, I basically was healed. And I believe the relapse would be when you forget and you become insecure. But the, the message is don't focus on the pain. Do what you need to do. So basically, for me, even if I'm in pain and I feel I'm in pain, I need to manage that and also continue my work because that is basically what I decided to do. And I'm, I'm healed. I wasn't able to do this. I wasn't able to do anything. I just thought I would be able to work. And tomorrow I can continue looking. Thanks for watching this posting and uh, stay blessed and take care of you. Bye. Ah, well, uh, Mono Safel SK, original, uh, official ringer. Adam.